What? I was just thinking about boobs. You're thinking about boobs. The Bengali word for boobies. It's a bad name for boobies, especially coming from America. What is doo doo? <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> Instagram and Twitter for our juicy content. It's some patron so phone. Should I have double from these? What? Bang! And to be specific, I don't think it's as hard pronunciation as you just said. I don't think it's just. It's it just says like, coming from. Doo doo. Coming from doo -doo. English. I know. Calling boobs doo doo. It's no, it's just weird. It's, it's anyway. Wow. Two videos with. Doo -doo. Boobies in it. <laughs> uh, but yes, I believe today we're reacting to uh, some classical dance. Awesome. Uh, so that'd be, that'd be fun. Great way to enter into a classical dance performance was talking about boobies. <laughs> boobies are great. Uh, but this is called, say this right here. Where? Tilana Brindavani. Uh, read this. Adam. Adoption of... SMT. Uh, SMT Namrava's choreography. It's an adaptation of somebody's choreography performed by uh, Gara Nataraj and Padmini Shridevi. Okay. Uh, okay. That, they didn't give me any uh, stuff for this, but uh, classical dance is fun. I don't know where it's from. Uh, they didn't give me any of that. So, sorry. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Here, Here we, we go. go. Footwork, 
I told a story, didn't it? Frickin' lovely, beautiful, captivating. Yeah, and it was almost tap a little bit. <sighs> yeah, it got, you know, that's one of the things, you know, Johnny being a classical dancer, she's talked about how, um, the, you know, the, the classical dance forms, virtually, I think all of them are very centered on being connected to the earth, yeah, grounded, everything is barefoot. Yeah, it's all, it's barefoot and everything is down, down. Whereas a lot of Western dance, jazz, tap, ballet is up, up, releve, up, up. And so this, the groundedness, but the amount of rhythmic footwork mm -hmm. was incredible. Do they get bruised heels a lot? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It seems like you would. Yeah, the two. By like hitting your heel on the ground. Yeah, but not as much as, I guess, because you get used to it. I asked that of Indrani, because the first time that she ever showed me her dance form, Odyssey, in person, how hard she stomped on the ground barefoot. I said, she did it and I said, doesn't that hurt your foot? She said, no, I've been doing it since I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. But it's, if you did it, you'd be, you'd go, ow. <laughs> and so, it, yeah, uh, you would think that's the case, but over time, I guess they get a development for what usually happens with the knees because they're in a constant plie, bend. a constant bend, a deep, deep bend. Yeah. Uh, really strong thighs, but knees get just thrashed. I can imagine. They're um, really complementary. One of the things that's important for dance duo, as well as like an ice skating duo, is um, complementary physicality. And their physicality, the way they're physically structured and when their arms go out, what they look like together, was really complementary to each other. Mm -hmm. I felt like everything they did was in sync and fluid, and though they were different body shapes, there was a similarity to their lines, mm -hmm. and the amount of work that those guys put into that. Oh. And how about my favorite moment? The probably swing. the swing. Yeah. I saw them on their swing. It was gorgeous. Yeah, that uh, is the them being so in sync during the whole thing. <sighs> so difficult yeah um, but also just the, the story they told they told the, uh, the I love the the Bengals yeah on the bangle on their the really pretty yeah. bangles on their on their ankles on both the ankles. of them yep. isn't it usually just the girl yeah I don't know what the story is with as far as men wearing them but it's always been as we've seen and most of the time classical dance forms we've seen more of the women than we have seen the men uh, I, I didn't know ignorant. that the men wear that too. Maybe I'm just ignorant. I don't know. Um, no, I didn't know that too. I know. thought it was just for the girls. <laughs> but that was beautiful. You know, we beautiful. love beautiful reacting to uh, classical dances and in any kind of art form. That's great. Yeah, uh, that just made me happy. It felt like a little courtship dance. You did. You know, like he was trying to woo her with his flute, and then they were together swinging, and it just and the little playfulness with the eyes and the head when they froze and talked. It was. And what gorgeous. is the dance? Is, it, is this what the dance is called? Like the dance form, or is this something that they've created? I don't. Well, it said it was a variation on some choreography, so I suppose this is a famous dance. Maybe. And they did a variation of it. <clears throat> I love Let it. us know down below. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>